I want to seize the Stepstones by force and burn out this crab feeder. Caution you, Lord Corliss. A seat at the King's table does not make you his equal. Nah, man, that is some longing look there. So sick. Join our families. Where'd our daughter, Lena? <sighs> Ugh. How young are we talking here? The queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? That looks so cool. That looks so cool. You've come for the egg. Here it is. Come and get it. Wong, 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 people, dems. So, it's been about two weeks, maybe three, and with the delays on my laptop. Um, but we are now finally ready to watch episode two of House of the Dragon. So, just as a recap, um, we had our princess, Ramira. What's her name? Ramira? The, the Targaryen young, young lady. So, it ended with her basically becoming the new heir of the dragon. So, um, there was all that kind of kerfuffling as to who was going to get it. Then the dad, um, the king, uh, and his poor lady wife, who unfortunately passed through childbirth. And this is quite interesting, actually, because in the last one, I was pretty adamant that he was a snake. <laughs> and I was like, I, I, I was rooting for you. We was all rooting for you. Um, and then I was like, oh, he, let, he let her down. Like, he completely betrayed her. Um, and, and then in the end, the baby died as well. But then someone corrected me and said that actually it would have been a case of them both dying or them at least attempting to save the baby. But where he did let her down is that he didn't tell her. He didn't, he, he didn't give her the choice uh, to decide that. He just he made the decision for him. But anyway, they both died, which was pretty horrific. And it was really graphic as well. It, it, if you've not seen Game of Thrones or anything like that, like for me, it just reminded me. I, I haven't been in that kind of Westeros land of, of graphic for a while I was like damn oh god <laughs> um then you had the brother um who is Ramirez's uncle who basically is, is like a wayward son kind of thing um it, it's a bit weird that the, the, I, I kind of feel that there's, a, there's, a, there's an inappropriate nature to him and that girl I don't know man they just seem like a bit too um oh, oh hi uncle let me put it on for you like just 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 a little bit too and you know with the Cersei and the Jamie-ness but then again I was also told in the comments that um that was something that the Targaryens did to keep the bloodline pure so actually all that kind of incest stuff was rife and rampant so maybe we're about to see some grossness. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, he's kicked off with the brother because he's then celebrated the fact that the baby died. They called him the heir for the heir for a day, I think it was. Um, and he celebrated in town. That got back to the king. And the king was like, okay, you want to see a little something? Okay. You're banished, fam. You're, you're, you're gone. You're out of here. So he sent him on his way. Um, and so they, they've got beef now. Um, what else happened? The king's got some kind of weird ass boil business going on on his back, some kind of wound, um, which doesn't look good. Um, and that's pretty much all I remember. It's been a few weeks. So yeah, let's see what this episode's got to offer. I'm really excited. I really, really love the first episode. So let's see what the second one is saying. Bear with me. <laughs> Got my goblet of wine. Or just regular glass. <laughs> what has gone on here? Long Lord Commander of the King's Guard. But he was ill for some time. He passed in peace, I hope. Four ships have now been lost. Yes, I'm biased. 
I want to seize the Stepstones by force and burn out this crab feeder. I am not prepared to start a war with the Free Cities. What reason does the crab feeder have to fear us? The King's own brother has been allowed to seize Dragonstone and fortify it with an army of his gold cloaks. Caution you, Lord Corliss. A seat at the King's table does not make you his equal. You have Dragon Riders, Father. Send us. At least the princess has a plan. Oh. Showing him up in front of his parties. We should at least... Perhaps uh, there's some better use for the princess's talents, Your Grace. Would this be for or after he chose her to be the heir or what? Kind of out of order, really. Sir Desmond recently brought a would-be poacher to justice. <laughs> she didn't look impressed. <laughs> Sir Iman was knighted at eight and ten. Do any of these knights have combat experience? Beyond capturing poachers. Sir Kristen Cole. Son of the steward of the Lord of Blackhaven. They linked, didn't they, in the last one? I lucked. I choose Sir Kristen Cole. Let's not be too hasty. Princess. But Those men are tawny knights. My father should be defended no. by a man who's no more combat. Should he not? Yes, he should. Know your place, Hand. Know your place. Over a thousand dragons, and maybe large enough to span the seas of the world. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. Seven hills. They're spending quite a bit of time together, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. I think she would open herself to you if invited. You do have such an easy way about you, Your Grace. Is she talking about Rhaenyra? Or is she talking about herself? You do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? I fear that she wouldn't understand them. No, Your Grace. So if Rhaenyra is 15, how old is this young lady? Nah, man, that is some longing look there. You see that up and down, that... It's under their robe. <laughs> you cannot worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. Did you get... Did you get the memo? <laughs> I'm about to be queen, fam. He chose you for his heir. He didn't choose me, he spurned Damon. Yeah, but he still could have chose Damon. Ultimately, and he didn't. So sick. It's just so sick. I love this world, man. Oh, she's so sad. I want him to see me as more than his little girl. Thank you. Well, it's good to have someone in your corner, isn't it? Good little friendship they got going on there. Even though she weren't your daddy. <laughs> I know tempers ran hot today, but I wanted to assure you how much I value the bond between our houses. I wish to apologize for the tenor at the small council today, Your Grace. As king, it is my obligation to avoid war until such time it is unavoidable. At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. And a blind incursion in the Stepstones is the only way to demonstrate that we are not? Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. Unite the two great surviving Valerian houses. It hasn't even been half a year since Emma passed. The realm expects you to take a new wife sooner or later, Grace. You could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. It's a touchy subject, isn't it? I mean, it's only been six months. You can talk about new wife and babies and... It's a different world, man. Different world altogether. So I just want to be like, shut your mouth. <laughs> Literally hear the crickets. We haven't spoken much. 
since. I loved your mother very much. As did I. Today at small council. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But... You will learn. Uh, uh. How many gross things in the shower? Why the finger black? The maggots will remove the dead flesh and hopefully stop the advance of the rot. Uh. Why is it rotting? Uh. <coughs> and uniting the two great Valyrian houses would certainly signal unity throughout the realm. And beyond. I but. do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, Your Grace? Her mother has passed. Her father must propagate the royal line. It's a bit cold, man. What's it going to do with you? Be compelled to replace her for duty's sake. You are the king, but I do not envy you. And just like that. It's true. He is right in saying that. How young are we talking here? Don't tell me this is her. What was it like flying the Black Dread? You Valerian's last rider. Only for a short time, before he died. Sorry, I can't get over that. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood so that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Is that what your father told you to say? What did your mother tell you? That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turned 14. Sorry. I just can't. Ugh. That's one of the worst things I've seen so far. Mm. It bothers you, does it not? That you're a heartless mother? Yeah, it does. It is his duty to take a new wife and strengthen his line. I did not ask for less than politics. I asked whether this bothers you. Lena is your daughter, Princess. Does it bother you? Of course it does. But I understand the order of things. I'm not sure you do. His new wife will produce new heirs, and chances are better than not that one of those will be male. The men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you. Oh, she's bitter, isn't she? The queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? Men would sooner put the realm to the torch and see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. Seems the realm wants for a new queen. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. This partnership. I brought you something. I asked the stonemasons uh. to mend it. Oh, Papa. Damon. The Prince of Dragonstone and rightful heir to the Iron Throne to announce that he is to take a second wife. The Prince has invited you to his wedding, Your Grace. It is in two days' time. The realm is watching, Your Grace. What would you have me do? Send him to the wall? Perhaps I could put his head on a spike. I will go to Dragonstone and drag David back to face justice Your myself. Grace. My apologies, Your Grace, but I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Let me go to Dragonstone. Yeah, but you hate each other. And life is going to listen to you. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. It's 
It's giving me anxiety, I'm not even on the bridge. <laughs> is Damon there? Well, he is. He's actually appeared. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. Your occupation of this island is at an end. Where is the king? I don't see him. His grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. Mummer's farce, rah. <laughs> Those traditions are for the true-born children of royalty, not for bastards fathered on a common whore. They You've come for the egg. Here it is. Come and get it. You've never survived this. Well, happily, neither would you. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. that oh he's dragging Sir Kristen, please escort the princess to safety. Take care not to startle Sir Axe, my lords. She's rather protective of me. I'm right here, uncle. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. So do it. Dad's not going to be happy about that though. What a showdown. <laughs> Can't believe she just flew in and saved the day like that. It's a beautiful dragon as well. So what's the next day to play, bro? is fuming. <laughs> you announced that we were to be wed and that I was with child. Your child. Well, perhaps when we are wed we can make that true. I came to you to be liberated. Liberated? From what? Fear. I don't think he cares much, to be honest. Like... I mean, he should. That was a very impassioned speech, but... We're going to talk about his rotten finger. Lena Valarian. She is the eldest daughter of the wealthiest house in the realm. She comes from unimpeachable Valyrian stock, and she has Targaryen blood. She is 12. She will mature. They talk to her then. What if I was to reject Lord Corlys' proposal? He would not be like to take it well, but we find ourselves on the precipice of war in the Stepstones. You should wed Lena Valarian, Your Grace. Sate Lord Corlys and fix him at your side, permanently as an ally. The princess has returned from Dragonstone. Dragonstone? Oh, he's gonna flip his lid. He gonna flip his lid. I told you to stay out of grown folks' business! But she smashed it though, so he should be applauding her, really. Your Grace. You are my only heir. You could have been killed. May I sit? Let's talk. <laughs> Retrieve the egg without bloodshed. A feat I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. I sometimes forget how alike you both were. Your mother's absence is a wound that will never heal. It pleases me to hear you say this. To know that I'm not alone 
in my grief. The line is vulnerable, too easily ended. And by marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Mother would have understood this. Just as I do. Props. Oh, I think she's my favourite character already. I think she is my favourite character already. She's a bad girl. Mm. I get it. I get all this moving chess piece chisel. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I got your back. See, so, yeah, I really wanna rent my black dude, yeah, but like, I mean, there's a couple of moves there I'm not really feeling. Tech, my daughter. <laughs> I'm not over that. Good morrow, my lords. Bless him. I have decided to take a new wife. The Lady Alice and Hightower. Before spring's end. This is an absurdity. And I am your king. I think she feels more betrayed by that. You want to become estranged, but you marry her best friend. What is that? <laughs> what the hell was that? For centuries, my house had to scratch out an existence from the sea with grit and luck. Unlike every other lord of the realm, I can say that I built my house's high seat with the strength of mine own back. I've always thought of you and I as having been made from the same cloth. You're talking about Damon? He's talking to Damon, he's talking to Damon. I've been petitioning the king to send my navy into the territory, but he's denied me. The king's failures have allowed him to accumulate strength. I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls. I will speak of my brother as I wish. You will not. All right, that. We are the realm's second sons, Damon. Our worth is not given. It must be made. I'm not messing with him or her, whoever is underneath that mask. Well, that was a little bit juicy. <laughs> that was a little bit juicy. Okay. So I think the fact that like he's now gonna attempt to make an alliance with Damon, I mean that was again it kind of shows the nature like I've kind of learnt this from watching Arcane, right? That I shouldn't make judgments of people too early because everybody does think, everyone's motivated by something. They do things for a reason. And just hearing that little two minute backstory there about what the history has been like for Valerian, for his Valerian bloodline and where they're coming from and what he's built up and how he's had to do that and you know he's had to build that. No one gave him nothing. I can understand why he doesn't then want to have that like fettered into nothingness, do you know what I mean? And I guess he feels as though his house is under threat. Um and he feels as though he's been shown a slight by um uh by the king. But getting into bed with Damon I just don't that's gonna end well because Damon is from what I can see already, Damon is for Damon. Which is a very conflicting thing because it's quite clear he still loves his brother. And clearly still loves his niece as well. Um, so I don't think he's necessarily doing this because he wants to go against his brother, but he is doing it to show him that maybe he needs him, maybe. So maybe there'll be like a redemption arc for him coming later down the line in the season, I don't know. Because they can't just have him as just, just evil for evil sake, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, even that line there, I can speak about a brother how I wish to, you will not. Like, that tells me quite clearly that he's still got love for his brother and he gave the niece the egg. So there's got to be love there still. Um, and as I said, as one of the only black people in the show, of course, I'm going to be like, yo, power to the people. Um, 
Although his locks do look a little bit fluffy. Like they could have made that a little bit more more luxy, I think, but whatever. Um Yeah, him and the wife, the princess, the queen that never was, all a bit bitter. All a little bit bitter for my liking. But then if I was in that situation, I'd probably be bitter too. <laughs> I'd probably be bitter too. Um Yeah, the king's choice to marry the best friend. Um that would pee me off as well to be fair like i'm i'm that i mean more so than the child though i mean he was a they were trying to push on him a 12 year old picnic a 12 year old picnic do you know i mean i would bear you many children and and i would be i mean all oh, that whole thing was just so eerie and weird like and my, and my mama has promised I, I, I shan't need to bed you till 14. i was like what are we even talking about? Like, so yeah, that was weird, and that is one of the worst things I think I've seen so far. Um, and the fact that so many people are like, no, 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 do it. Join your houses. Um, but I think yeah, Rhaenyra feeling clearly betrayed and blindsided by the fact that you gonna you, you want to touch my old daddy. You want you you want to touch my old daddy. Not cool and. You know, I could, and and, and you can, and the, the guilt in the room was palpable. Like you could feel it, you could taste it. And like this, let me not swear, but are you kidding me? Right now? Like I'd be vexed, man. Ugh, the thought of just one of your parents, one of your friends, it just uh, kill me now. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. But the fact that Rhaenyra flew in and was just like, yo, you ain't taking this seriously. You know what I mean, like, I ain't in here about to be washing up no dishes and carrying pots and pans and whatever. Yeah. I've got a whole dragon sat outside. Yeah? You don't listen. What should we bring back that egg? And Otto sit down there being like, and, and without the, the death of your, of your, of your whore and, and, your, and your unborn baby. She was like, just don't know all this blustering. <laughs> let me go talk to you let me go let me go switch up my language and just talk to him one time like listen fam Simia Simia <laughs> see what I mean you got to you got to go through me you got to go through me <laughs> um, so I read the fact that she did that I thought that was really cool and I'm um, quite telling not quite sure what Damon's making of that wife because she's beautiful, but I love the fact she stood up for herself being like, I ain't here for this. Do you know what I mean? I came for some stability, I came for like a easy life. Do you know what I mean? I ain't looking to be standing up there and no bridge with two dragons about to cut. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's not running away. That's not, being, that's not being liberated from fear. That's standing right in the slap bang middle of fear. <laughs> um, but I did think it was quite sick when Damon's dragon would just, yeah. Yeah, like from nowhere, I'm just like, you best shut your mouth. Um, yeah, and then that, just that last scene there of this crab killer, crab eater, the crab man. Um, like, they, they've done the visuals on this are just sick. I mean, it started off with all these crabs yamming out and eating these people, like, gross. Um, and then like just and the fact you don't ever really see him like or whoever they are right to the very end in the last shot just hacking away at people like you know they're definitely building up this guy that this is this is this is a serious kind of villain do you know what i mean um so yeah i'm very intrigued to see how that pans out and what happens with them but um yeah i really really and I'm, I'm so engrossed in this now and I, I i yeah Second to it, well, from the first episode, but that second episode was really good as well. Um, and it's furthered the story even more. So, yes, let's see what comes in episode three. Um, what were your thoughts? What did you think? Uh, did you think that Rhaenyra should have been vexed about the friend? Like, do you think actually maybe she's overreacting? Yeah, I'd love to get your thoughts on, on, on the episode anyway. And uh, if you did enjoy that, then do drop a like and subscribe. I'm hoping to try and get an episode of this done every week. Um, as I said, the, the delay was due to my laptop and having to switch over programs and whatever. Boring life story that you don't care about. But what I'm saying is, I'm hoping that there should be like a weekly, a weekly update. So hopefully uh, episode three will be with y'all uh, by next week. But uh, yeah, 
and I've also got a Patreon as well, so um, the episode may be on there sooner than it is on YouTube, so if you want to watch it quicker, um, and along with other things, then head on over there and come be part of my Patreon family. Uh, but yeah, until next time, stay blessed, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one. <laughs>